9 News at 6. A Cottage Grove man is dead tonight after an officer involved shooting at a commercial marijuana grow operation. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Renee McCullough. And I'm Matt Templeman. It happened on the 78,000 block of Cedar Park Road. And people living near that area say they woke up to a loudspeaker and gunfire. KZI 9 News reporter Michael Severn is live tonight after speaking with deputies and neighbors. He's live in Cottage Grove with the very latest in our top story tonight. Michael. Matt, Renee, while this shooting may have happened early this morning at this commercial marijuana facility, if you look over here, you can still see police are actively investigating, trying to figure out exactly what happened. And we now know that the suspect has been identified as 40-year-old Joey Loop from Cottage Grove. We've also learned that this afternoon that he died after being taken to the hospital. No deputies were hurt in the shooting. Just after midnight, Lane County Sheriff's deputies were called out to report of a dispute and shots fired at this commercial marijuana grow. They spent an hour trying to find the suspect in the middle of the night with no luck, so they brought in backup. It's a fairly large parcel of land. At about 1 a.m., we put a call out to call in our special response team uh, who responded down to assist. According to the Lane County Sheriff's Office, the male suspect managed to stay hidden until about 3.45 a.m. That's when deputies say the suspect got out of a building with a gun in hand and two deputies opened fire. Richard Sedlock lives nearby and says he was getting ready to take his wife to the airport shuttle when he heard the deputies over the loudspeakers telling the suspect to surrender and then gunshots. Didn't really know what to think with that much law enforcement on the scene because, uh, you know, there were spotlights on the building up there and lots of red and blue flashing lights. And I figured things are under control. The shooting is being investigated by the Lane County Interagency Deadly Force Investigation Team. Richard says in the past, neighbors have been at odds with the marijuana growers, but relations have improved in recent months. And investigators say they don't know right now if Loop actually fired his gun at those deputies. Those two deputies have not been renamed by police at this time. They're currently on administrative leave. Reporting from Cottage Grove, I'm Michael Severin, KEZI 9 News.